in themselves in their spare time then it just proves how big it actually is. Yeah, it gives it a lot of mainstream recognition. We've had similar things with people even just coming XQCL. into like the streaming industry or the YouTube world. It just gives it that kind of mainstream validation. Yo, and now when can content we get creators a like us friend. get a lot more respect from people friend outside XQCL. of our kind of bubble. To be fair, I think you guys also have demanded some of that respect. Months, and specific, so like, it's so well, big. Like, it's so big. I'm you. not being funny, XQCL. but like, that was... Ambitious, that, yeah, yeah, like yeah. seriously. Uh, very quickly for the next video, uh, how much of you guys about, know about final? Neymar's gaming interests? I know that he streams um, on Twitch. Maybe. I know that he's played yeah. Warzone. Okay. He's got his own Call of Duty he's, skin. I know that. He's yes. not really good at CS:GO as well. Yeah, okay. he plays a lot of CS. The reason, yeah. the reason I ask is, it is the next Sorry. video we're going to show. So I want you to take a look at just how What's good up, Neymar bro? is at video games. I was leaving all the things in the week of the jungle. Do your job, bro. Twenty-four months, Pac-Man. Let's go. Uh, and only Neymar Jr. Oh, I'm doing it. Switch Bros. in Counter Strike, Second Age, and Rocket League. Forty-four Let's months, bro. Can on. I get a welcome to the jungle? Excuse me. Hello. Get the back only. XQC. Hold on, guys, guys, guys. Chat. Is that Neymar? Are you finishing Wukong today? Game is so good. No, I'll just. XQC, I'm, I'm going to get unapologetically high today. I'm going to smoke until in the most paranoid. Game, champ, guys, guys, guys. I will be thinking about I'm going to get a water, a drink, so my food, and, and we can begin. Okay, champ. Yeah, it's a bit of a rough start today, guys. Guys, 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 guys. I jumped out of bed for this, okay? Guys, I jumped out of bed to be here, okay, champ? Listen. I'm going to crush a key as well. I remember she was taking an MS to Sora team. Hey, yo. But we are here to win. The original founder of Falcons. That's actually the second time that they've been out. He came to watch and support his Counter-Strike team from earlier on in the bank. I will tell you this, though. He had to give up Rocket League and let his son play because it was too hard. I can't laugh at him because I am dreadful at that guy. I love to watch it, to play it. Nice. Toby's not the best at Rocket League, but I, I'd like to say I've put, put in nicely. I put in hundreds of hours I, into that game. And, and look, I, I play a lot XQC of Counter Strike, L. Valorant, and then like Call of Duty Search and Destroy is my main thing. But um, you'll appreciate how hard it is to get a knife kill Yo, in a game like Counter Strike. Welcome me to the you jungle. <laughs> like, wow. years on a now. show match on stage, they played yeah. they played a multitude of games, and it was totally like whoever won the most at the end of it. And Mr. Sorry ended up getting crushed. <laughs> we were talking a little bit about some of the other like uh, professional footballers that have streams. Like, do you guys know? So I mentioned Max Verstappen. Three years. Uh, XQC did you see any of the news about him being a degenerate welcome gamer? To the I, I heard even I think it was like two race weekends ago. He was up until the early hours of the morning and winning, competing. So and I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you. Yes. I'll tell you the brief summary is that so in ESL R1, which is the sim racing thing, mm -hmm. you can do really long Le Mans type you know marathon races. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So he would do qualifying, and I. You I don't know why I'm thinking it's Monza, but, but he did qualify on the, the track. To be a God then he went home to his now. hotel, sat in his sim racing thing, simmed for eight hours, went to bed, then did the, 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 the race the next day, finished, and then went to, to play sim racing. That can't be healthy. No, and he, I know <laughs> it isn't healthy, but he does that. I don't know how he doesn't just switch off from racing. This he specific event, he won both races. Yeah. Real life and digital, and now his team this weekend just won as well. You have so to like, respect it. That, yeah. that's, that's, right. Right. that's where that's where I'm ending to as well. I mean, maybe maybe healthy, not healthy. I, I think <laughs> his I fitness regime. If you're winning, is healthy. Yeah, his that's fitness, the way I look at it. His fitness regime is almost as good as Ethan's. <laughs> um, okay, uh, we actually have another moment to take a look at. Uh, let's take a look at some of the best player reactions throughout the course of the Esports Yo. World Cup. Colon the footer gang. I got calm drop shit chat I got lotion on my dick in just stroking my shit in horn years fuck man in a freak man like for real. XQCL Oof, all good chat. 58 months can you tell your mother to keep the food warm? I'll be late coming home XQCL. 
Show us some of the merch on stream, brother man. Well, hold on. Pogunis. I have both my teeth, yeah. I have both my teeth when I woke up. What about it, there? Welcome. Happy 39 months. XQC, hope this everyone is having a good day. Take care, X, and check give me some XQC. WXQC, welcome to TBE Jungle. Yes, sir. today's food though is pretty dank. Hold on. Yo, chat. Big juice. FQC, aka best gamer in the world here. Dotto. Yo, chat. Big juice. XQC, aka best gamer in the world here. Dotto. I have a chicken wrapper. Big juice. XQC, aka best gamer in the world here. With some fries and gravy. Can't wait for five hour react then ten hours of gamba. What a Sunday. Ooga booga Mr. Background I Lord. don't think that you fully understood the intent of the key. Huh. You can't propose with the key. <laughs> oh my god. Asking this someone looks for their insane. Are you going to marriage? smoke cigarettes on stream today? You are conceding today? it. You are being divorced. You are being kicked if out of the house. World Cup <laughs> oh man, um, we were talking while the video was playing and I was laughing. Player reactions are the best. Mm. There was a couple of tournaments uh, where, believe it or not, the mobile gamers, mm. they climbed onto the chair and started screaming at their opponent. <laughs> what are some of the best XQCL reactions love you, bro. you guys have had or watched in the content that you made? I can think Three of one that's Jam really old school. Now. FIFA Pro Clubs yes. back in the day. Me, Josh, and Toby used oh, to play yeah. with each other until like four, four in, the morning, in the morning. But we would go for like highlight compilation goals. And I remember there was one cross to the edge of the box, and I think Toby scored a bicycle kick. I'm trying not to wake my parents up. <laughs> He's screaming, and, ah! Everyone's like, oh my god, oh my god. Absolutely a head loss. Yeah, chaos it? over just a, a bicycle kick in a game. But yeah, <laughs> that, that's the one that sticks Incredible out. Incredible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are there any things that you absolutely despise seeing happening a lot? Because, like, you guys have to see your face a lot, mm. right? Oh, and yeah. And social media, things like that. So, what are the ones that annoy, or what are the ones that you love seeing to make fun of? Like, I, again, I, I'll just come back to the JJ example. Mm. There are a lot of memes and yeah, a lot of photos yeah, yeah, that are funny of that young man. So which are the ones that immediately come young to mind? Things that you either love or, or hate. I, I'm a big fan of my meme face. That's been used by Elon Musk. Oh, he, he goes it's been used by Elon camera. Musk, Nicki Minaj. It's been used by tons of celebrities. Cara Delevingne. Oh. It's been used by everyone. Oh, uh, that, that was just a simple night out in Germany somewhere. <laughs> and um, it's been global now. Well, awesome. very, very quick. Um, just give me a, an introduction. Uh, I know the name TN25. I met the governors. Who is TN25? Uh, yeah. I don't like TN25 this. is an absolute legend. He's a friend of mine, a friend of my brother's, a uh, player for my Sunday league team, UTR. And um, he's been doing big things in the esports world, apparently, with Guild Esports. And do you do you know that Guild Esports is backed by David Beckham? Yes. 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 Um, the reason I'm asking, you guys are more familiar with him and his nice, work. Nice, I am, brother. But I get to share his work with you right now because TN25 is on the red carpet. Oh. The closing ceremony is coming up soon. We're about to have the trophy awarding of club championship winners, Team Falcons, followed by a journey through the boulevard where they will eventually end up here with the trophy and down the red carpet. I can't wait to see it. Things are going to be popping. See you soon. Now listen, we're 15 minutes Pop away in. from the trophy awarding ceremony. Um, let's talk very quickly. Is this one of the biggest red carpets that TNs? Because like, let's be fair, the three of us, we've been in big places. We've got <laughs> you know what I mean? So, I didn't know, you know, so the, boy well, got a, the chops cut out for the red carpets? I reckon so. Yeah? He's a natural. He's a charmer. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's a charmer. He's been on this Don't get me wrong. Yeah, don't get me wrong. Yeah, he's a charmer, man. This is, this is a big uh, opportunity for him. Can, can you tell me, can I see, when I see him backstage, can I say this is the biggest gig you've ever been on? Do you reckon? Very well. Tell Nick, the has got an NBA. He's met David Beckham and I have Exactly, yeah. yeah. I've not really met David Beckham. Yeah, but I've met multiple footballers and I call it soccer. No, okay then. Ah. <laughs> soccer. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to say that. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Try it. Um, all right, the next video that we do have as we are beginning to round out all of our full-time mainstream coverage is just to say, say, say thank you to the fans.
Welcome to Saudi Arabia. This is a great event to make a Riyadh a center of collaboration. Many different cultures come here just to like see one person or a tournament. I'm so excited, but this is uh, so beautiful. This is something new, something very cool. If you haven't been here, I don't know what you have been doing. This is my first time coming here, and I think I actually really like it. The clouds, oh my god, oh, it's mm. amazing. Mm. I didn't expect to see this good quality, it. actually. Very happy and proud I think to it. have something like this here in Saudi Arabia. <laughs> We've been in two stages, the no, Amazon and the uh, Gdia. I'm so excited to see other challenges and people competing um, against each other. Uh, the part now is uh, win the World Cup. Khan and Faze, they're my favorites. No, both of them. Falcon. Falcon team. Falcon. Falcon. There had to be only one ad. Well, congratulations to Falcon, but I support uh, Twisted. My favorite moment is attending the Street Fighter finale. I have seen uh, Tekken, Overwatch. Rocket League. Overwatch! Oh, sorry, when he was crying. Overwatch mentioned it! Some of the people that are playing in the event. That's the best moment, welcoming everyone visiting the place for the first time. One word is uh, perfect. Amazing. Very, very, very exciting. Stunning. Happiness. I like it. It's top notch. was one of the best moments I've ever seen. It's something really wonderful. It's uh, so good. I will come from Sudan to see it. We hope that it happen again. I'm not that guy who watches the eSports World Cup. I'm that guy who joins the eSports World Cup. <laughs> mm. Mm. I like that. What happened? Well, Hello? I'm not going to lie. He had me in the first half. Hi, buddy. I'm not the guy that watches the eSports Hello? World Cup. I'm the guy that Hello. comes to it live. Bro, and how you doing? Uh, gents, when we were talking about this, we had a like, uh, What sort of events, esports events? I'm have doing you well. Seen? It's have been a long to? time, man. And, and how does this compare? It's been a while. We've been to some in the UK. I'm Asian food and I've got it. I thought we could watch this together. You want to watch it with me? Those ones in London. Call of Duty Lands, of course. Yes. All right. I'm moving down there. I series. I went to a League of Legends one at Wembley SSE Arena as well a few years back. Yeah, you know 2000, 2015. I think so, yeah. yeah Can I just say thank you? I was <laughs> at that event. <laughs> you wouldn't have known it. You wouldn't yeah. have known it, but it was my voice in the SSE. You smashed it. It was the first time that my parents got to see me broadcasting. That's so oh, yeah. yeah. awesome. Yeah. Good. So, how does this event compare? We, we were just saying in the break, like, it's super ambitious. Yeah. Mm. But the, the way first that ever it's one. been. Yeah, the way it's been. Conducted is impressive. I, I mean, I, look, um, Ethan, you've also got Slobby, a couple got more it. games under your belt, mm -hmm. a little bit more like, let's say, competitive yep. experience. The fact that you can have EAFC next to a mobile PUBG, yeah. Free Fire, next to StarCraft, next to Tekken, next to Street Fighter, like, how, how would you get viewers to understand that? Oh, Ooh. my goodness, that's a crazy statement. Uh -huh. But it is, it is just encapsulating every kind of competitive gaming that you may not even think is in that realm. You might be used to just competitive games that are played on controller, keyboard, but then you're seeing some of these guys that are going crazy on the mobile games. The question I'll ask you as well is like, we zoom it out. Um, do your parents, Damn. how long does it take you to get what Nobody you goes crazy on the mobile games. When the checks That's start just coming I really <laughs> but, but I thought I would interject on this and just say that. Because I think they can but, respect hey, it. I respect it. I, I, think, right? I think they respect it, but it's still difficult to understand. Yes. Still very difficult to understand, especially when you say you're watching someone compete in a game, they think, just play it yourself. Yeah. But no, there's something special about watching this higher skill level. Yeah, I mean, big. Uh, it's one of the things that I do think is important. And I think as well, when we do think about widening mm. the market, widening the teams, getting no. people to understand, Stop having that. leaders in the space, uh, like the teams, like the clubs to be able to do so, is gonna be a, a big opportunity. We're gonna turn our attention now to talking about some of those clubs leading the charge, looking ahead to the future of our esports. So we're gonna head into the Amazon Arena to speak to OJ Borg. Ooh. He's quite possibly one of the most busy people around at the moment. Grant, thank you so much for taking some thank time. You. This is exciting. Yeah, um, can't quite believe it. When you think about this a year ago, when all the work you're doing is going to lead to this day, win or not, um, it's quite weird to actually have made it and now finally be here. Quite weird. What will that moment be like when you're on that stage? We can mm. see the trophy. Yes, it's just being polished behind us. What, a, what will that moment be like when you're up there and that trophy's in your hands? <laughs> Everyone's asking me this. And I, I don't know until I'm up there because I've had so many emotions running through through this. Like I was in tears the moment we kind of got Chloe one and this and the other and I might cry, I might cheer, 
I'll play it by ear. That's my nature. I want all of those things. <laughs> that would be a great moment. Where were you, where were you when you found out you'd won the club trophy? It was. Um, I think you've seen the video of everyone cheering in the crowd with EFC. So when Massad, the CEO's on stage, and we get told right before his match, I was there with them. I think I dived over about three chairs on top of someone, then everyone's crying. It was just absolute bedlam of emotions. It was, it was incredible. Let's go back two years, because you've been with Falcons for two years. Now you've been at other esports teams before it. I mean, what was the expectation? I've been thinking, yeah, just, um, yeah. If I'm truly honest, I don't think I quite realised sort of the behemoth of an org that this was. They were the biggest team in the Middle East, and, and part of, obviously, the goal was to bring it global and see what we could do. But I didn't quite appreciate, like, wow, there's this much work going on, you have this many fans, this many content creators, etc. So when I walked in and finally understood it, I was like, oh boy, i got two years to make something happen, or um, yeah, or uh, uh, they're going to be disappointed. So it's like, we just have to put all our work into it now, and fortunately it's worked out. How many teams you at? <laughs> I don't know teams, but I know we're over 200 players, so I don't sleep very much anymore. <laughs> I was say, we were just talking about the mm. fact of these eight weeks, so I've been in and out, I mean, you've been here now for uh, a whole load of time. Have you ever been on your phone as much answering messages, especially now you're successful and you're winning? <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> my phone has been running out of battery. Over when they won, like, most games, though. I've had in my life, which Literally. has been on it nonstop. There's been so much logistics and operations. We've had so many teams here, so many staff working. It's just been absolute nonstop for eight weeks. But it was all with this goal in mind of where we stand right now. So, yeah, I've been on my phone nonstop, but it was worth it. We've got a few hours left of the Esports World Cup 2024. Then I guess it's a load of downtime for you, a couple of months <laughs> off maybe. <laughs> Everyone's asking, are oh, you going holiday now? I'm like, well, we have TI in, sep in September, we have Warzone Finals, we have Pro League in se There's about five or six major tournaments. So I've had to delay the holiday until October. So one more month. But then I'm going away for two weeks. And I've told everyone, if anyone sends me a single message in my two weeks off, I am literally will never respond to you again. So. They're sacked. They're sacked. Exactly. Don't message you. <laughs> and what has it been like? Because obviously we've seen the Falcons fans. We've seen them around. Mm. We've seen them in the audience as well. This has been very much a hometown win. What has it been like with the fans? It's been genuinely incredible. Uh, you know, coming sort of a new team and a new culture for myself. Uh, it can be quite weird at first in Shaw if you, if you don't know anyone and all they've done is bring myself and the team with us here um, completely into they the won completely two games well. why did they? there really is no better feeling than when you're working with a team and there's all these fans cheering for you oh yeah but they had the high presence really in all the, the, all the other games when you win a trophy like it really feels like it matters for some people out there and that's that's why we do this like, I mean, that's why we do it it's for people to cheer not cheer only so first place matters you know, there, on like big tournaments like there are games that are different in format and shake my hand and talk to me about teams that's what it's all about for me, and I absolutely loved it. Loved You're a celebrity now, Grant. A celebrity. <laughs> um, and you can't choose the moment you won it, because that's easy. You can't choose that. Favourite moment over the past eight weeks? Favourite moment was uh, right at the beginning when we won the Free Fire event. And it was because we come off of a Warzone victory, which was somewhat expected with the team we had. Um, and they the were great, by the way. They, they were such great value. They were amazing. And then we went into Free Fire, and I remember that day because we lost the MLBB final in a situation where I think people would argue with the favourites and so we all were really sad and down mm. we walked over to Free Fire a team that we knew were top four capable but we had never played protection first and then it was the final game they had like the 20 kill game mm, I get that the match. They got, they that's got hard enough the, it was the perfect situation for the points they needed so they just went from such a low to just screaming and screaming and everyone cheering and diving and that for me was just it was the perfect moment because it was so unexpected and we've seen that in the highlights as well. Well, listen, Grant, congratulations. I'll say this right now. I am looking forward to whatever happens when I see you with the hands on that trophy. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Huge congratulations to Grant Rousseau, CEO of Team Falcons. Uh, truly putting together an incredibly, incredibly impressive Jeff, actually roster Trudeau. of competitive teams. Um, he had a 20-plus minute interview with us not that long ago, discussing the vision, the goals, and honestly, the targets for Team Falcons. Uh, they smashed it. As far as the EWC Club Championship is concerned, they picked up the very first title in week one with Warzone Resurgency win. Ahsoka doing such a great job for the team and they Damn. never Legitimately impressive and they just come out of nowhere. the amount of accrued points then well, Team Liquid, and actually did this many um, results. What I do them. think is crucial to acknowledge is not all of the uh, clubs had as many representatives. I'll be honest, Team Vitality, Congratulations it's not on placing fourth. It's like a but logistics, dedication. Yeah, they've been around for a lot. True, I've loved true. So but much, I've had the since honor they, they come up, I've been in that Leaders to CEOs to team managers for most of the organizations on this graphic. Every single one of them have made it clear they will do better next year. That's one of the things that I'm a huge fan of. 
Toby and uh, Ethan, you can see the $20 million total. The first place, seven million for Team Falcons. You can buy our best players and liquid. The way that it worked out, in order to be eligible, you need to have at least two teams placed in the top eight. Like, if you wanted to actually you have to win support the whole them thing, and you have to create a structure for them. One, you have to like a tournament. Mm. So it's close to like, everything. It's, it's, a, it's a mode of work. Yep. All the different games, except at the end of the Olympics. They look at Great Britain and say, oh, we're sorry, the USA got more medals than you. Uh. So you take silver, but the USA, you get an extra fancy trophy. Yeah. As far as a competitive format goes, how cool is that? I mean, you've seen tournaments, you've seen the games. Yeah, yeah, no, it's, it's quite mind-blowing, to be fair. Yeah, you get like the little individual moment, and then you get the yes. big yes. moment yeah. overall, which is like a... Do you, know what, do you know what I love so much? That's what's going to happen. Well, they got seven medals. Three minutes time. We've got that <laughs> big trophy. Yes, for yes. For the wedding. For it. Again, this is not on the script. They did not know that was happening. Just set, set up very well. Um, okay, we do actually have a little bit of footage here when uh, we talk about Team Falcons. As I mentioned, obviously, look, I've lived this story. I've been here for eight weeks. Interesting. The trophy, they have not been kept up to date with all of the unique interest, unique. Uh, Specificities oh. of the teams and how Toby's they Toby's done the RM, it's so a Ublo. Dude, been I hate Ublo. Falcon. Waiting for that trophy to come back up. Ublo just copies it. Um, there we go. That's what I'm looking for. RM, um, until they make their watches look, look like RM, and I think it's fucking maybe despicable. Maybe a general question. They won Warzone, they won Free Fire. Second, third, third, fourth. Then one blip, 17. Second, 11th or 12th, that was out of 16 competitors. So a few blips. How hard is it to build a single club with yeah. 20 games? I mean, like, this is crazy stuff. That's what I'm saying. In the grand scheme of things, when you look at it, in some of the major titles, they've, they've done top three. Yes. So. How would you, how, theoretically, how would you build a successful gaming team? Oh, oh my oh, goodness. Come I can't on. I game successfully myself. You, you can't ask me that. that is, yeah, but hang on, hang on. You guys have built a successful content team. The logic the logic applies. Kind of but I feel like we're the just, logic applies. We, we haven't really built a content team. We're more just friends. I feel like that's the beauty of it. I wouldn't even know yeah, where to... But that's different though. They became oh, sidemen yeah, They didn't make sidemen yeah. yeah. Right on that aspect. Toby, you're still thinking. I can see it in your eyes. There's, there's yeah. chemistry. There's... there's um, a respect that we all have for each other, an accountability that we all hold each other yeah. to, all those factors help build it. Like they themselves kind of team. were also doing stuff together the and it became side men. They didn't pick the people around and then made side men. Um, we are about a minute they and a half to that. the scheduled planning. Um, I give you guys just a quick opportunity. Give a shout out. I want to say thank you very much. You've been incredibly generous thank with you your time us, and man. I'm very appreciative. Um, so give a shout out to fans, to viewers, let them know where they can find you. What if you play with your teammates, I mean, you can find us on YouTube. You become a pro in a game. Yeah, you have uh, a team. We're trying to do things bigger Did you and better, make so a pro team? Come along, join no. the fun. Be yeah, a part exactly. of the family. And who knows? We'll keep trying to surprise you every every Sunday. Oh, thank you guys so much. Um, I really, really appreciate all the time that you have spent with us. Um, we are now wrapping up our portion of the show. In less than 50 seconds, the EWC Club Trophy will be awarded to the most successful and the most impressive club at the Esports Man. World Cup. I will have one last chance to say this, so please forgive me if you've heard it before. Eight weeks ago, hey, I'm good now, 57 Jack, sorry. days, 22 Jack, I was a tournaments and 21 games. That is what we have completed. Okay. What's man? Then we're going to do 1,500 of the Ow. world's best gamers. $20 million in prize money allotted to the best club. $40 million of prize money spread across 22 unique tournaments. History has been made here in Riyadh. The Esports World Cup was ambitious, it was amazing, it was beautiful. And while it may be done, the party is just beginning. Thank you for watching. Stick with us. It's time to award the EWC Club Championship Trophy. Oh my god! I cannot believe this is happening right now. Is it chat? Are they about to crown the champion? Yo. Yo. So NMPLOL. Bro, XQC, I heard from my chat that so, you have a you have a watch that's worth 1.2 million dollars. Uh, I'm wrong. So they just lied. Yeah, they lied. They lied. Yeah. What chat? Why would you lie? Yeah. What? Yeah. I have, like, I, don't, I have a cutoff. I don't wear. I don't wear anything where, uh, that's worth a mill. That's my. I'm my cutoff right now. 
Okay, because I'm watching this uh, vent here, right, with all these guys, and they all have super nice watches. And, like, you know, I'm not trying to flex here, Felix, but I got a nice watch myself. Like what? I don't know if you heard of it. It's called Breitling. Oh, yeah. I, um, I think they rented a Brokey. Y yes. Yes. Um, I have one. It's uh, pretty stylish. You know. Yeah, it's nice. Um, I, I was at the, um, I was at a table um, in Vegas, yeah. and some fan pulls up. And he's like, "Dude, I need to sign up for this thing. I need five hundred bucks, or whatever, right?" And I'm like, "Sure, whatever, yeah. right?" And I give him five hundred bucks because I, I, I mean, you know, I kind of wanted to get away to be honest with you. And then yeah. he comes back uh, with a Breitling watch, right? And he gives it to me. It's worth like fucking like like ten k. He's like, "Dude, I flipped the five hundred into like." 20k whatever the fuck it. here's my watch and i'm like sure i'll take it and i take it <laughs> what yeah what the that's crazy yeah it is crazy you, you still have it yeah it's upstairs oh my god yeah i'm trying listen you know i don't know if you've been paying attention to what i'm doing because you're a busy busy guy you know i lost like 50 pounds yeah it's really nice i like that good job man I'm proud of you thank you thank you felix yeah so like I'm trying to get on that come up, you know, getting that glow up, you know. You've already been up, you know. Like, yeah, but you're you getting know, like Greek, though. Up. You changed and you're not funny anymore, so I'm going to leave this right now. Felix, come on, that's not fair. And Greek is funny, okay? Stop. I'm just kidding, man. <laughs> we're all proud of you, big boy. Thank you, thank you. No, it's, um, that's cool. So what's the deal with watches? Like, any recommendations? Um, not really. I don't have no, any not, not really. I don't know why, because I feel like, um, watches are like, it's the one thing you get to wear that's like um that's like you you know you choose like whatever you like it the most you know and i could be like a ten dollar watch or if i can whatever amount of money and i think that's what's fun in it so like recommendations no because it's like i think the fun of it is to find the one that you want for yourself okay that's cool all right i'm sticking with the brightling then that's like, yeah, that's good advice you like it i mean i like it because uh you know erling holland the soccer player oh he's, he's like he's sponsored by them so he wears them Mm, okay, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're too manly for for me. Too manly? Yeah. We'll, we'll watch you that now. I'll, Are you wearing one now? I'll, 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 I'll go pick some up upstairs. Hold on, there. Some? Did, did he say pick some up? Did he say some? <laughs> what do you mean by some? Oh, no. Some? Am I about to... Oh, let me see. Dude, the first thing I see in Felix's chat is Nick, your poor, shut up. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. I love that. I deserve it. I talk too much shit anyway, so it's fine. It comes back around, you know? I can't even complain. Ah, that kind of hurts, man. Damn. <laughs> I should not be saying that to so many people. <laughs> that kind of stung. Because there's, like, nothing I can do about it, you know? Like, I, no I, I can't, like, work any harder, and I would never, never, you know, this sort of thing. Damn. Okay, then I look in my chat and someone says, you're poor and get no bitches. Okay. Stop. That's just... That's... Okay. So, why well, is this a cool, cool, cool arena, guys? Isn't that cool? Looks like a mall. I, I just wonder if they got KFC there. Because if, if I'm going to go next year, I need some KFC. Just keeping it real. They do? Good. Wait, I think I heard. I think he's coming. Yeah, I'm here, sorry. Okay, you got him? Um, Dude, I had to fucking... Uh... Oh, sorry. Fucking house. Uh, um, the ones I want to show you, they're they're, um, they're locked. And I want to go get the key and all that. And but uh, I got a couple for you. Okay, let's see. 
Okay, hold on. You want to show on this guard or over here? Uh, I, I can see you on your stream. Okay. Uh, here's, here's two of my favorites I have. These, these are like the the, the, the gemmed ones, if that makes sense. Gemmed? Gemmed, yeah. Okay. First, you have the... Uh, you see this one, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. yeah, hold on. The, this one? That's the... Um, oh my god, what is that? This is... Um, Frosted Gold or Rainbow Skeleton AP. That one's, I really like this one. Okay, how much is that? I'm just gonna ask because I'm curious. Oh, I think price dropped on it. It's like a 300, 250, things like that. Okay. But this one, I really like this one. It's very rare. Right uh -huh. here. Oh, that's cool. Um, I can't really see. It's not, oh, let me focus the cam so you can see better. Uh, hold on. Is that is that made by Gucci? Nope. Oh. Hold on, we need, we need to focus real quick. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. L oh, it's a Rolex. Yeah, and look at the background. Very rare eye of the tiger. Upside it's upside, upside down. down. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So I was looking at the zoom the whole time as well. Oh yeah, I, yeah, I kind of see it. Hold yeah. on, hold on. How much is that one? I think 325. Jesus, man. Yeah. Look at the background. Yeah. Now, now, now you can see it. Look at the background. Look at that. Oh. Look at that yeah, I see. Oh, man, dude. Yeah, that thing is Jeez. fucking insane. Holy moly. Wow. I feel like yeah, um, people forget. Whole different level. I think people forget about this one. Um. Like, you don't see it very often. It's like a little bit of a of a hidden one, if that makes sense. Like, even like, yeah. But it's special to me because, um, so, yeah. Wait, why is it special? Is it some significant value or like significant moment or something? Um, Buddha first showed it to me a while back, and Buddha's a good friend of mine, you know. Yeah. And um, he got the gold one, right? So, um. Yellow gold. Wait, Buddha had one of those too? Yeah, so I decided to match with him. And I picked it up. Okay, what am I doing wrong? Hello? Yeah, well, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ask, man. Uh, ask Miss Giff. I'm just kidding, buddy. <laughs> Stop, Felix. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh man, dude. That's wild, bro. So what, you got? You do watches and not cars, right? No, I do got cars too. Excuse me? Yeah, I just, I just bought this. Um, I've, had it for, I've had it for a while. Uh, I'm pretty sure you've seen it all on the Discord. 39 months. You, you bought a car? Yeah, 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 hold on. Send you on Discord right now. The fucking iPhone sucks, man. Oh, man, dude. I'm Ooh. be honest, bro. I'm about to start hanging out with you, Holy. dog. Keeping it real. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus Christ. Hold on, let me show you. Okay. Look, look, Again, look stop call Chat, stop calling me poor, please. Stop XQCL calling me poor. I beg you. Three. You're going to make me lose it. You bought this? Yeah. I'm enjoying it a lot. You like it right now, be honest. Yeah, I do. Really? XQCL. It's the, uh, is it the hur Hurricane? Huracan? Yeah, it's a Huracan. It's the last model of the, of the it's like, it's like the last, the last of its kind. It's the, it's a Huracan Technica. Oh. It's like the last mod and to it. You drive this. Yeah. Bro, why don't you ever do like some IRL streams driving around in the car so we can see it? Hmm, I don't know. I, I, I did it last time. Dude, I, I, I went down there one day yesterday. Um, and I was fucking stressed out parking it and Welcome shit in the potholes. It was a little bit, a little crazy. The Prime Minister no, of Saudi Arabia. A buddy of mine has one, and uh, yeah. Oh, the national it's anthem time. of yeah. Saudi Arabia. The Prince, everybody, everybody, be on your A gamer. Yo.
Are you standing up? Yeah, of course, of course, of course. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the EWC Club Can Trophy Awarding. Yeah. Do you miss competing professionally? Yeah. You were you did this. You you were at the weren't you at a World Cup once for Canada? Uh, three times. Three times? Yeah. Um second place, third place, and then didn't qualify. Jeez. Yeah, that was always one of my dreams, it was to uh to be pro. But I just suck. It looks good on the outside, I'll be honest with you. But not on the inside? I mean, not as pure. If you're if you're in a developed, if you're in like an a developed esports, right? Exclamation. Like it. It's less organic and less about like it. Figuring things out like organically, and it's more about like doing it kind of methodically behind the scenes with like VOD review and analysts and shit like that, you know? And it becomes kind oh. of like work a little bit. Introducing to the stage, CEO of the Esports World Cup Foundation, Ralph Reichardt. I have those shoes. Oh. Um, thank God you're not wearing them. I'm wearing the I'm wearing the black versions. Your Royal Highness. Why? Esteemed guests. Say it. Fans mm -hmm. from around the world. Well, because I'm wearing black today. Tonight marks gotcha. a historic moment for the white ones are downstairs. Over the past eight weeks, we have witnessed greatness unfold. The best players from over 100 countries battling it out for their clubs on the best games to find the one club in the world. He's so poor. We have seen passion, sweat, joy, tears, pain, happiness, Egg. and broken dreams. Let's take a look back at the highlights, highlights of history in the making. Mm. Eight weeks ago, they arrived. Driven by a hunger only few could understand. Welcome to the Esports World Cup! The arena became a crucible of dreams. Is that Tyler One who said that? I think so. This could be another masterclass from Odyssey. The two young guys! Oh, wow! Another impossible clutch! This has been the best Apex legend we have ever seen! Some crumble beneath the weight of competition. They definitely had some weak points on this run. Hope shattered, spirits broken. Another team fights the dust. For vitality, that is the last game they will play. In the dark, Twenty seconds. Did you watch this? D. I watched a little bit of. I watched the Apex stuff. I'm a big Apex player. Or oh wait, fan. you didn't watch Marty the um the uh, CS one? They found something deep. No. See, that was Team Falcons right there from Apex. That was my that was the team that I was rooting for. They got yeah, second. apparently Apex was good at. Yeah, Apex? I think I think this Apex was the best Apex tournament they've ever done. Yeah. I'm not kidding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People, people said that. People told me to buy a team. Jeez, you're just going to buy a team? Yeah, but maybe, yeah. Oh, my God. You left us all behind in Austin, and now you're just buying teams and... All this stuff. I'm going to get one of the Apex team at um, Rocket League yeah. uh, and Valorant. Listen, you get an Apex team. I know some people in the scene if you need some help. Yeah, well, I want to make it like a super roster. You can do that. This is expensive. It's probably not that expensive for those sort of players. Just Your watch would cover the, the whole team for four years. <laughs> it's more than just a competition. You'll be okay. To make it to the top three, uh, to the make it to the top three in the club world championship, is a true <clears throat> team effort, and accomplishment spanning across genre, games, and borders. Let's take a moment to acknowledge BDS, who finished third with 2,000 uh, with 2,000 points and two game championships. Is this our boss today?
What'd you say? Is this our boss on screen or second what? Place, coming at I think he's CEO. Oh, yeah, so we work for this guy pretty much, yeah. Game <laughs> Team Liquid. Yes. And finally, an incredible club who has risen above the rest fielding teams in a record of 18 competitions claiming two game championships with a remarkable performance across the board. They Team almost won Apex Falcons. too. Ooh, Falcons, okay. They, they had so many more points than the second place team, it was crazy, they just couldn't get match point. The moment has come to award the winners mm. to cement history. I would like to thank His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdulaziz. Did, did they have more? Crown Prince, players, Prime or more, or uh, Kingdom of Saudi teams Arabia in different games, or support, same as anybody else, to help make this esports World Cup probably more a maybe, I success. I would be honored to invite you to the stage. Oh, oh. thank you so much. Please welcome to the stage your club winners. It's Team Falcons. General Director Mohammed Al Materi, Global Esports Director Grant Rousseau, and CEO Masad Al Dossari. I wonder what, which which is uh, his favorite game. Um, that guy almost tripped. Probably his game of choice, your highness. Okay. I have to sit down, I have a condition. I have, I have stage 3, uh, lazy bonsitis. Thank you, your royal highness. Did you just make? Did you just make up something? Nah, it's stage three lazy bonesitis. Oh, stage three lazy. Yeah. It's fine. It's um, Cotton Arc's joke. You wouldn't know. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Hold on. I guess I'm gonna. Okay. Go Apex, Apex. Alright, NFP. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Watch my stream. Yeah. Wait, when'd you get third? Holy, holy. Um, 2019. Wait, is that when you, we got, right before we got put on the same team when we got dead last? Yeah, I think that was the year after that, yeah. That was not Please. it. Uh... Dude, you really got all, all your awards, man. That's cool. I haven't won anything since high school. Yeah, but I feel like Rival doesn't count that much because it's, it's like, you know, there's only pros that get clapped. A medal's a medal. Yeah, true. It's so. I'm going to do a one man uh, tournament in my own house for a league and get gold medal. <laughs> you, should, you should have a whole ceremony too where like you put it on your own true yeah, actually <laughs> like you take it like super serious so basically uh, like a title one streamer yeah you know tyler is there he, he was here earlier on the show really yeah he was uh he was there for like five minutes and he left yeah he's been over there so they're gonna give the award to Falcon? Oh no, oh, I don't know. Man, man. They already own it, sorry. The number one prize. Wait, they are Falcon, sorry. Seven million dollars in prize money. And of course, they will be heading outside, jumping onto the cars to drive through Boulevard City. Oh, oh, ouch. To celebrate the monumental okay. win. 
of course, I roll streaming right stuff, I know. City, it is a lot of excitement. As Team Falcons, the favorites to win it all, managed to deliver. Isn't it crazy, though, how audio is still the biggest issue? And we've had, like, telephones forever. Yeah, but there's a reason for that, forever. I mean, you, you know, Tech, you know the reason for that. Yeah. Because, like, frequencies and waves and shit like that, and sometimes you don't have the correct delay and sync and fucking megahertz and whatever the fuck, and it's, it's just always gonna be like that. Audio is the hardest, it always it, has It been. is the hardest, yeah. <clears throat> That's why I don't use two computers for streaming, because uh, syncing the audio properly is a fucking nightmare and I hate doing it. It's gotten easier now, but yeah. Yeah. You could just probably NDI and it just would be easy. Oh, be true, really I guess, yeah. Back when we were at our heyday, it was tough. <laughs> you know, now it's a little bit. Yeah, yeah, the, a bit easier. It's, a lot, it's just a lot of testing and shit. I hear it. I hear the audio kind of trying to creep in, you know, like... Yeah, it's screaming in. Alright, I'll put my music, I guess. Holy... Holy... Hold on, chat. Yeah, it does. So... Who's, who's the guy with the trophy? Ah, uh, the boy Falcons. Oh... I'm gonna, I'm gonna put some funk behind this. I have more to wear. Wait, there's there's rims on these golf carts. They have rims. On down. This this thoroughfare that we've seen over the past eight weeks, full of fans. We've seen players. We've seen so many great moments here. Uh, we had the esports awards last night, of course, which capped off this fabulous, fabulous eight weeks. The inaugural one as well. The inaugural competition as well now obviously there's lots more things happening tonight it's been quite the moment it was a very respectful silence in there mm. as they took that trophy uh, and they shook hands as well and they took that trophy as they go all the way through the now one of those things for me that's been one of the large moments it's been very i've been here a couple of times i was here in heart, and then i came back to the strike tournament which is my own personal thing it's been the connection of fans across this eight weeks because lots of people have watched this lots of people have attended these events as well here in boulevard city at the three wonderful arenas we had the stc arena the amazon arena the arena um it's the fans that have been here and they've come from all around the world they have been people who have the cross-section of gaming that is what it brings them together and one of the things as well that was was great to see that i was part is the audio the still match. stuff for you Neymar Jr. <laughs> yeah. he was here playing the ceo of Falcons. <laughs> three different games they played and what was amazing about Neymar, somebody who's so famous for playing football one of the greatest footballers ever done it he's played for the brazil national team he's always been very very good as well was to see how much he enjoyed playing on stage in an esports way because he was here, not just to play sports himself. He then played Rocket League again. He's never played before. He's never played Rocket League before in his life. But he absolutely loved that. And he got his son up on stage. And then when he played the finals one in Tekken, he got to crush MS Dasari's key, which I think he was quite annoyed about because he wasn't really a Tekken player. Now, as we can see, this journey will be continuing all the way through. They will keep going all the way through till they get to this final arena. And a fabulous music performance tonight, which will be happening as we have this trophy, this wonderfully built well, trophy, the first song, time um, that has ever been lifted. Of course, it will be lifted again in 12 months' time. I think the question is, will Falcons be a team that lift it again? Because now we've seen the standard from the other teams of what they need to do. We now have a standard. And that's when you have something for the first time. It's always about laying that standard down. It's how the other teams respond to it. Now, one of the powers of the Falcons, they've been so dominant across so many different games. 
what it's up to the other teams, like Liquid, who came second, is how they build their strength in other games. And that's one of the great things about the Esports World Cup. It's about it's about not just being good at the one game you're known for. We know T1, the greatest org in the world in some people's eyes, because of course they've got that great league T with Faker. It's how you become big in other games. And I think that is what we will see between now and next. Well, I tell you actually, let me hand over because I know T25 yeah, is on the I That's on the Buddy, how's it going? Not every sports is like uh, worth the money getting into for most orgs. So I grew that. So tell me a little bit about R1. How did it go? Did you end up where you wanted? You know, talk to me a little bit about the specificities. That's the word I'm looking for. Yeah, that's good. It was really good, actually. We, we came in knowing the competition was going to be tough. Mm -hmm. um, qualified through grands at the first attempt. See, well, I don't get those. How come the, the audio is perfect uh, sometimes and then it's Today, just like randomly it was, not? It was tough going. Um, and, and or, I mean, you know exactly why. Was about where we thought we were going to finish. So, yeah, please with the, please with the result. Joe, you know, I am just a day tripper when it comes to the Esports World Cup. You're a man who was that, here before it started, and you're still here now. It's ended. This, one, this one's like a mobile setup. It's like on the fly, farther from, from the main broadcast. With the fucking. Do you hear an echo? No. Yeah. We've seen each other in passing. Yeah. But being able to experience all the games, in particular, being able to nerd out with Tekken. Yeah. And do you know what? I mean, obviously, you spent 57 days. Who's counting? You've sent it in that room at the bottom of this golden carpet. Are you taking that with you back home? Both mics were picking up, and that's where the echo was. The one thing I would upgrade for next year, air conditioning. That's the one thing I look forward to. Because I did a couple of days in it at the start. Were you still getting the loud music from the other side? Well, sounds disrespectful. Like, he's not even listening. He's just talking, because the is not even responding, because it's so look quiet <laughs> there we go because it's such a festival vibe uh the music at like 9 p.m 10 p.m oh look at that professional it's switch though it's yeah he put the other mic behind him and then they went <laughs> to <an> interview <laughs> format that is uh, pro did it get bro, warmer and warmer and warmer then because when i was there I, I remember dressing i was thinking listen it's fine we've got air conditioned i'll dress warm in case i get cold oh yeah we got a third uh, ac unit installed yeah Whoa, so it was a lot of fun oh, Mo it. more importantly i think it was really great it's the amount of uh, personalities and former professionals world champions um, some of the best gamers and commentators on the planet got to sit and just talk nonsense with me for four weeks, uh, eight weeks, because it was just a lot of fun. Don't forget the other four weeks. It was yeah, four weeks I, twice, four weeks twice. I will say this. It's been a very long broadcast day. <laughs> okay, here's a question for you then, because I think you are uniquely poised, because you've been not just across the games, because this is what we wanted about the Esports World Cup. I was saying it before. It was about coming for the Count Strike and staying for the league. It was about coming for the Mobile Legends Bang Bang and watching the Rocket League. What has been your moment? Like is there one moment you can pick out? Oh, beyond a shadow of a doubt. I, I'll give you two. My favorite tournament moment was in Street Fighter 6, watching Xiao Hai win. Um, his wife stepped up on stage with him. He's a Chinese player, uh, competitor. And his speech, he straight up looked in the camera and he said, I was told I'm too old. I'm 35. I did Ooh. this for Xiao Hai. And he started crying. It was amazing. That's, for, that's me, because I'm old. He's getting to work with Justin Wong. Um, 20 years, the guy's been a competitor player nine times. Even I don't think we said that, but yeah. I literally got to sit and oh. stare him in the eyes and say, you know, thank you so much. Do you know that you left an Easter egg that we continued every single week? No way, go. What was the Easter egg? Was it chat? We watched the clever. Eight. We did our very first cold open on EWC Central, and uh, we had a fantastic moment from OJ where he said, I brought some friends. No way, did you keep doing that? Every single week. No way. Uh, yes, hand on my heart. Every cold open, a different member of the broadcast team said that. So thank you for the gift. I love that. Do, do, I tell you what, I'm going to tell you a second about Easter eggs. Do you know where it comes from? Tell me. I'm going to tell you in a second because TN25, I believe, has got someone with him. The stage is about to set. The sun is coming down. People are walking in and out. I can't wait to see some serious faces keep coming in and out of here right now because I'm telling you right now, if things keep going up like this, there is so much going on. We're going to keep going. We're going to keep rolling. I'm waiting for the golf cart to come. I'm waiting for the trophy to arrive. Now, I've seen the trophy <coughs> from a distance, but I haven't seen it close up. And that's one thing that I'm absolutely looking that at. That watch is a yellow rolling, gold um, Being able to see the trophy close up. Just, being able to see how they roll up. Being able to see the smile and the joys of their faces after eight solid hard weeks of didn't. winning competitions. Eight solid hard weeks. Fifth, firstly, I winning don't recognize zone, it. They they getting those points on the board. Bro, where, where do you stay at these days? Felix? Esports World Cup has been oh, solid work from in, them. Uh, They've been absolutely Quebec, fantastic. Canada in my house. The cars still keep rolling in. Oh, nice. It almost feels like a mystery box because you never know who's going to step out of those cars. Who could it, who could it be? Could be someone famous. Could be anyone. 
My man, and I've got it on good authority. He's going to be with Brittany Johnson in just a second as well. Right, you ready for these regs? Wait, Brittany Johnson? Yes. yes. Oh, wait, I know. Brittany Johnson's here. Okay. Yeah, but uh, the Brittany Johnson's there. That's yeah. the problem. Wait, I, I know there. Brittany Johnson. Get there. Like, where's going? Anyways. Yeah, I, do you know what I was hoping I think. for? They had all these amazing golf carts lined up, and they all left without us. Oh, I think. Yeah, well, okay, yeah. I mean, to be fair, they are the stars of the show. Well, we, we are that's what they do. Think that is. So you were going to tell me, what's the Easter egg about the Friends? Okay, so people always talk about Easter eggs in games the rest of it. Have you ever seen the Rocky Horror Picture Show? I have, but I don't recall it super well. It's a long okay, time ago. so what they had was they had an Easter egg hunt as part of the set, as part of the filming, and they accidentally left two Easter eggs under one of the chairs, and that's why it's called an Easter egg, because it was forgotten there. Oh, that's amazing. It's almost like... Oh, so look on this corner. Look at look that. Look yes, I love that. I love that. Um, so you were talking about your favourite moments. For me, what I really enjoyed, and I mentioned it before... No, you was, did not. I yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the computer generated a photo. Um, yeah, because it's, it's at the port. It's it. so waiting really for shipment. Some of the things that I just didn't understand about it, and he really put it in a way. And that's what was. Was the GT3 RS? Was yeah. If you didn't know these games, it was Jeez, brilliant man. that you could um, that you could learn more about it. Yeah, I mean, look, the whole point. Beautiful of car, man. Yeah, it's really nice. Experts from each of the games that had tournaments on Holy moly! One of the best bits for me was every single week. We had different, um, you know, experts. Congrats, that car's that awesome. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a gift from my brother. I but, yeah. Justin Wong. Long time it's fighting game. for your brother or from your Nine brother? Times, for him. Uh, Evo champion. Did you play him? You're, you're giving I that to your brother? Yeah. No. Yeah, perfect me once, and then the next two. Holy moly. More importantly, he got into Rocket League. All he wanted to do. Mate, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Hold that thought. Go for it. Do you know why? Tell me why. Yo, I, I'm your brother too, dog. What's good? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that's like, that's like meme, though. I know her. I know her. I've Johnson. talked to her before. Yeah, I know her. I know her. I know her. Yeah. I'm good. I'm doing great. The vibes right now are just immaculate. We now, had dinner in uh, Paris together. They taught me through that. How did you find it? What was All your right. experience with that? Oh my true. goodness, that esports. Is that, isn't that the city of love? Sorry, the esports awards yesterday were. Well, other incredible. people were there too, but yeah. I was doing the voiceover oh, yeah. for the ceremony, so anytime you heard anyone come on stage, I was the one introducing them. But that's what I'm most known. Melina was there, chat. So it was Jeez. Really cool to lend my voice to to the weekend. Yeah. Nice. And talk to me about like your experience with esports. You know, how big do you think this could go? Obviously, first esports World Cup. What do you think? How how big do you think this could be? Okay. Honestly, from starting in esports in like 2008, mm -hmm. it's already so much further along than I ever imagined it yeah. being. Like, there's a whole city for gaming yeah. coming. You know, like that's I never even imagined that when I imagined Wait, what? what's the future. There's a whole of gaming. city. So seeing where it has already developed to and then where it's going to go is is actually kind of like surreal yeah. it's absolutely insane right and are you much of a gamer yourself you play games in your spare time i am oh, no, i am look, I, I am a huge Jack, gamer no disrespect like, it's a question people that live in saudi arabia the pattern at um, the the thing you're wearing city, and i it, like i wanted pull? to try in fact like, like the, seeing like the like little garden with Aerith and yeah. like the tower the pattern thing? i i was like <laughs> this is real <laughs> yeah but I'm a huge gamer. I play pretty much anything that comes out, but and I play a lot of TFT and wow. Call of Duty and Fortnite and all that. So, so T I'm no, guessing okay, TFT was the one you tuned into mostly. Actually, Call of Duty was no the way. one because that one that one was so stressful to me watching yes, the teams. Like that. the finals for that, I was yeah. I was glued to my phone. Um, but yeah, I mean, TFT. I just like this. For, I like me in my dream world. I'm a TFT pro, oh, and every time wow. I watch it, I think I can. I think I can do it, but I. <laughs> You know what, with TFT, I'm not going to lie, I did not know what was going on. It was a bit complicated for me. I'm very simple. I'm an EAFC player. So, you know, 11 players, very 11 players, culture. very, very easy. But, you know, talk to me a little bit more about your experience here. I'm expecting to see you here again next year, I'm hoping. Oh, absolutely. This was my first weekend. I was so surprised how nice yeah. everyone is mm -hmm. and how, like, welcoming and excited they it's are for us to all be here. And, and honestly, to see the whole industry, like... It, it was like a high school reunion of gaming and esports that all come come on to the city just to celebrate gaming and esports for the weekend. Like, it's actually been pretty incredible yeah. um, and very, very special. And I hope to be here every year for as long as they do it. Yeah, same here. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for your time. And I'm sure I'll catch you again soon. What was amazing was you made it out here before me. Where were you? Were you Wait, there? Felix, you're gonna go next year. Exactly. I literally was standing outside. I came uh, down. I was yeah, watching perhaps. the golf carts. I was like, I also, don't know I was, to well, go I was right. I don't know where to go. About also, the pattern on, on some of these people were. Because Falcons need to get the trophy, oh. right? They need to actually celebrate this win. And from what I understand, the trophy is actually close to arriving as final destination. It is indeed. I actually don't know the journey they're taking. We have just been told it's very much close. 
very exciting. You know it's going to go past TN25 as well, so we're excited about being there. Just a word about the trophy. The fact that we've had this massive one here, just if we can look at this quite quickly. We've had this humongous trophy here, and you've looked at it all these weeks. It's quite a moment when any Ruins wins anything for the first time. So the fact that the Falcons have taken it on their home ground for the first time. The best Audio guy going to be working at fucking OPK now. Yes, the club championship. Congratulations. You are? Yes, the games. No, the audio guy. Keys of your opponents, but <laughs> them in the base well, track. technically, our audio is actually pretty good. I love the yeah, Bro, you should just buy OTK. I love the fact that Falcons themselves have been able to crush the boulevard right. of broken keys. Just yes, that was initialized. That's, that's kept going. Every right. week, every week that's coming. It's just a beautiful line. Right? It's a very, very beautiful every line as well. We're nice guys, you know. Clubs, hopes, dreams, aspirations, desires. Not you know real. What? You came second, third, fourth. Falcons earned it. They played the game right and they played it well. And we can I'm we can sure finally you know team this. up again, you know. Sure remember the good old days? Point. How many keys did they crush? I remember, I remember, I remember oh, the good old days. Oh, there's actually too many. Yeah, we um, bring it back. At yeah, you least were, 55. Yeah, I could walk down to your house. You know? 55. At least 55. Uh, uh, I mean, his so does in theirs, I'm not going. They were, they, they were monsters. So those not theirs, so I'm not going. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, so the one thing I was mentioning before is the fact that Team Falcons, they came here, they came with a great roster of teams. Uh, Every one of those teams had a great wait, roster that's on actually it. How it all it's started. next year. <laughs> now, the wall. other teams, we look at Liquid who came True. second. The other teams now need to step up. Can I tell you this? Every single CEO I've had the pleasure of interviewing. They manage to uh, uh, commit and promise that they're going to be doing Christ. better next year. They back got, to they've fight. got to. Now, we trophy right now. This is the trophy arriving. Yes, it's a mixer, so means Falcons. Can I tell you this? Alban, G2, Steve, Liquid, Anna from Vitality, Eric from FaZe, do better next year. This is Falcons. <laughs> with this trophy, this this journey down the golden carpet with that to crush so many keys to be crowned as the World Club champion and the money that goes with it as well. Oh, not only that, the festivities are beginning. Listen, OJ, I've been here for eight weeks, okay? I've loved the show, I've loved the games, I've the tournaments. Do you know what it's time to do now? It's time to start. Yeah. Can't wait for them to do that. <laughs> you want to go? I'm a huge EDM nerd, but the fireworks are coming. Listen. Have you got a ticket to get in? I honest, this is honest truth that I asked to get in and they said no. Uh, yeah, but you weren't here for eight weeks. Um, I a... oh, no, no, no. Do you know, I've never seen Steve Aoki. Like, I'm somebody who grew up. I didn't want to be a presenter. I wanted to be a DJ. So the idea of seeing him would be wild. Uh, it was, I got the pleasure uh, as um, Salvatore Ganache a little bit earlier on. Tonight, it's, it's Steve's night. Um, Kid Cuddy, I'm sure he's great. Not my guy. Um, so that's for everybody else. But it's going to be the fireworks that I'm looking forward to having fun with. But uh, yeah, I guess, I mean... We're getting close to the end. It's party time soon, OJ. It very much is party time, and you've dressed for it as well. You've got your own microphone. I mean, Jesus. It's always wild. The one mic was good enough. Yep. They switched audio channel to something completely different. I don't know. Audio is hard. It's just hard. Come see Slack chat. Yeah. Star Trevor. Um, I was going to say one of the moments for me that summed up this esports World Cup actually wasn't part of one of the games. It was the stage because we talk a lot about esports. Honestly, dude, next time it. He's going to get with a wire you, mic and just run in with an experience? extender. Talk to me a little bit about that. Like, this looks sick. I mean, like, you, know, you know how the W community is using the Blue Yetis? Just announced. bring a Blue Yeti with a true long year. Literally, literally, <laughs> literally, yeah. This arena? Jesus Christ. Yeah. It's been, been, been an absolutely insane turnaround. And just talk to me a little bit about, you know, your journey in esports, how you got there, and, you know, where we're looking to go from here. Well, an avid video gamer, you know, I'm, I'm close to 50 years old right now. And so Don't look I've, it, mate. I've dedicated my, my life to kind of building stuff in esports. And that started in the late 90s. So uh, uh, built leagues, built teams, built like companies in the space. Yeah. And now being here, seeing how our entire space yeah. is uplifted mm -hmm. by the leadership of Saudi Arabia. It's just like very rewarding. It's very exciting. It's a very unique experience. And obviously it being, you know, the first esports World Cup, just how far or how much of an impact do you think it could have for you know the world of esports? This year is the single most important event that you see in esports globally. Uh, it's happened for the first time, and I think the waves that we see that radiate from this event here, that like trickle throughout the community, and are likely also being seen by those who are not gamers, those who are not fans yet. I think it's going to be huge. Like this year sets a really, really important finale point for already for 
He's, he's not wrong. Big successful events drive investors well, and thank you for interest your time. from I'm other people to you guys. and other uh, interest groups to get into esports and make it more profitable than it is right now. Help thank somebody. you so much. Um, I was about to tell you my wonderful story. Yes, Neymar. I'm going to tell you. Neymar, Basically Neymar. The opposite so I was here. Of, uh, I flew back in for that. And um, watch, like, what was wonderful about it was it's this meeting. We talk a lot about the meeting between games and sports, esports. It was the perfect meeting for me because you get someone as famous who have Neymar and then look at him. He's on stage and he's enjoying the games. And not only that, Neymar was here with his son. Who helped him? Mr. Sorry, he had to put the controller down. He had to put his controller down and let his son play because he simply couldn't get away with it on Rocket League. <laughs> right. It's been great to be here. You said you're excited about the fireworks. Let's go! Three, two, one! Fireworks! Whoa. No, that hits, that hits. Look, you can see the drone wing at the top there. You see it in the camera? Yeah, I see it. I'm joined by Harada now. Welcome to the room. That was me, that was me the whole time. Yeah, that's the whole thing. amazing place. How are you and what do you make of it? It was a great event, you know, he's been to uh, Saudi Arabia several times, but uh, this scale of the eSports event was the first time. And obviously Tekken 8, absolutely fantastic game. I love it. I'm, I'm a newfound fan oh, after it. that tournament. So talk to me a little bit about how you found the tournament and, you know, the, the experience of, you know, creating a game such as Tekken 8. そうだね。はい、あの、そうですね。今回えっと非常に鉄拳。で、ファクトアンバックオンでシーベルト。ガラッと変えて、アグレッシブなゲームシステムにしたんですけど、まさにその今回の大会でもあの先に手を出してしっ
to make it a focus on more of an aggressive gameplay style. So we really saw that uh, the players at the tournament, they were able to kind of harness that, uh, did quite well. So it was, it was a very exciting tournament. And how does it feel to see, you know, obviously Tekken 8 on the biggest stage? And did you expect it to, you know, I mean, Tekken has always done well, but did you expect it to do as well as it has? うん。どう思ったかだね。まあ、これぐらい盛り上がる。いや、あの、そうですね。あの、Oh, are people mad about that? that uh, you know, we've seen several fine. large tournaments since we released Tekken 8. So, uh, you know, I mean, when I went to the Norway, they played really their national anthem. I also stood up at the soccer game. So it wasn't necessarily being surprised, but uh, it gave us even more confidence that uh, the player base is happy so far with the game. I think even in a, in a, nice. in well, a fun spirit, you, you can and wishing you the best of luck. Traditions, out of respect. I don't think there's a problem with that. Cheers, buddy. Well, as Trevor's just ditched me to go take photos, I've got Becca Henry here from G2. How did you enjoy that ceremony? It was incredible. I think it's uh, it's it's kind of a bittersweet feeling because it's it's the end of eight weeks of incredible competition. Uh, it was an incredible ceremony, but it's sad that it's over now, really. So, what happens for next year then? Obviously, we've seen Team Falcons lift the trophy. We saw Liquid come second. What is he? What do you do for G2 to try and get further up and maybe even lift that in 2025? So, I think for us, it's. It's more of the same, but better. So uh, looking at more training, figuring out better strategies. You know, we've got the flow of it now, you know, kind of coming in next year, going all in next year really is kind of, you know, I think what, I think the best approach, but you know, figuring out the best ways that we can get ahead of our opponents. Becca, we were chatting yesterday, we did a panel together and you were wonderful on it. And we were talking a lot about fans, G2 fans, because G2, you've got great teams, you compete across the spectrum of esports. But for you, it's also about youth culture. It's about bringing people in and telling the stories of your players. Yeah, absolutely. And I think this is what th this whole event has been a really, really big indication of that. You know, you see, I was in the I was in the arena today watching G2 play Falcons in Rocket League. Um, sadly, we didn't win, but it was incredible seeing just how just seeing the home crowd and just you know, I always get goosebumps whenever I go into esports yeah. venues and, and hearing people cheer, but just seeing that crowd today was incredible. It was an amazing crowd. Well, listen, Becca, thank you so much. It's been an absolutely pleasure to chat to you. Maybe see you on the flight back. Thank you so much, Becca. Right then, my man TN25 has got somebody else he wants to speak to. So let's leave this carpet to his.